It's time to open up a box. It's time to open up a box. It's time to open up a box. Hey guys, long time no see. Um, I'm quite alive, it's just I've been busy with some stuff at school. Kindergarten teacher never sleeps. Anyway, uh, I actually had a chance to go to my P.O. box, finally. And there was stuff in there for me, which I was super surprised. Um, I feel bad, because it was the one that was posted in March. Actually, they're both in March. So, I'm a little late getting them. I apologize. Um, crossing my finger for his fingers for no weird stuff this time. <laughs> we'll see what it is. Because usually, like I said, people usually tell me when they're going to send me something. Sometimes, most of the times. Uh, and recently with that weird thing, it was just odd. And I was kind of nervous about opening these. So, But anyway, so one of them looks like a letter. One of them looks like a package thingy. So I'm going to open the letter first. Asana! It says on the cover. <laughs> no, something. What is happening? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> That's cool. OMG, it's UA. It's a Dolls on bookmark, and it's of the uh, Dolls on Lotus, which is freaking fantastic. I actually seriously wanted this outfit that she came with, and uh, I just never got it. But. She looks so different. Like, if you look at my Dolls on Lotus, and if you look at, like, the one on there, it's just, like, crazy. Cause I just don't imagine her being blonde. She looks so snooty when she's blonde. And I actually have a blonde wig that I've put on her before. It's just weird. But, yeah. Awesome! Let me read the thingy. Here's the bookmark I mentioned in the live stream. Oh, so positive that it's a lotus, but I thought you'd know for sure. Derp! Hope you like. Great story, brah. Yay! It is a Dolls on Lotus, because that's the outfit that um, she came with, and you can tell just by looking at her face. It's beautiful. Thank you so much! I love it forever! Um, the next thingy is a package. I'm going to open it. There's like a little tabby pulley thing. Hey, cool. Oh, look at it! That's so cute! It's a little scarf. Oh, that is so nice. Man, I really wish that I knew how to knit. I can't knit for sh Just kidding. <laughs> I just rhymed. Okay. Yeah, but really, for reals, I can't. Oh, this will be like... Sophie's or like rain scarf. It looks like it'll fit one of my MSDs really nicely. And actually, it says, BJD Knit Scarf, handmade by D. Water Lily. Yarn type is 100% wool. Uh, wash day wool by Reynolds Kids Baby Weight. Cleaning instructions, it's... <laughs> I just heard this scratching noise. It was weirding the crap out of me. And it's my cat. I don't know what she... She walks in with a bow in her mouth. Luna, come here. Show them what you have. Come here. Show them what you have. She... She walks in with this in her mouth. So it's like, la 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 la. Here, you can have that back. Here, look at it. Yeah, my cat's weird. You interrupted my video, Luna, just to let you know. But anyway, uh, it says knit in double rib, double rib pattern with size 1 needles. Enjoy. And she also said, why do people make characters for their BJDs? Does it mean they're writing a story? D. Water Lily. Well, D. Water Lily, first and foremost, thank you so much for this beautiful scarf. I will now cherish it forever. It is a wonderful scarf. It keeps me warm. Well, uh, to answer your question, do peop why do people make characters for their BGDs? I don't know. It really kind of varies. Sometimes people don't make characters for their stories, uh, for their stories, characters for their dolls. The reason why I do it uh, is that I feel like it gives them more of a personality, I guess, per se, if I give them a character. Um, but even at that, like, I don't have, like, a full, long-drawn story made out for any of them. I mean, I have a story for my SDs that I'm trying to get together. But a lot of my other characters, they don't have stories. Um, like my twins, for example, I don't have a story for them. I just named them that way, and I just know that 
they've got little quirks and characteristics to them, but uh, I don't I don't think, you know, it necessarily means you're writing a story. I know a lot of people do, though, like, and sometimes it's like, you know, they have a story that they write and then they buy a doll to kind of like, you know, personify their character that they wrote in their story, so it kind of, I guess, varies from person to person, but um, as far as I go, I, I do it just because I like it. Um, my characters, or characters, my dolls that have the most richest character, um, which I mean I have like actual story written for them, would be um, Kai, Tre, Yui, Yue, Umi. Those are the ones I have the most. That's because I'm 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 still working on my story, um, but yeah, the rest of my like I said, it's just like I don't have anything for them. So yeah, I hope that answered your question. Thank you so much for the beautiful scarf. I will put it on one of my dolls now, so everyone can see how beautiful it is. They have beautiful outlooks on on rain here. It's a gorgeous guy. So I guess maybe she has a shop if you guys are curious about it. D Water Lily. She didn't she didn't leave me anything. So maybe she has something on DOA or maybe she wants to message me. If you want to, D, you are more than welcome to message me and I'll go ahead and I'll link your shop below since you sent me something beautiful for me. Let's go ahead and show you up close. So I'm I'm Vanna Whiting this so you can see the detailing and the beautiful scarf. The beautiful ribbing. It is gorgeous. And oh so soft. So yeah, that is so cool. I'm so excited I got Scarfies and I got a bookmark. Thank you guys, I really appreciate it. That makes my day. Yes, um, anywho, uh, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this random P.O. Box opening that I had today. Um, and other news, I'm still working on reviews. I have some reviews to do, uh, like two more I think. And I need to do the apple head review still, and I don't remember it right now at the moment, but I do have a couple of reviews left to do. Off the top of my head, the ones I can think of is the apple head review um, for the Obitsu dollies, which are these guys right here, this one, and this one. I think I said in another video that they were, um, I might have tried to say that they were Parabox, but they're not. They're Emu dolls? I'm assuming they're like... It says made in glib, so I don't know. I need to actually do my homework on this. Uh, but yeah, they're Obitsu heads. They can go on Obitsu bodies. They look really nice. They're really nice looking heads. I think they're cool looking. And I just love open whole eye heads for this size range of dolls. I think it really looks really cool, and it's a good little, like, um, like if you want to try to do a face up and get some eyes and a wig and everything because you get like a tiny doll like you, you get like a tiny doll this is my my ang and this is an open eyed doll that I did did a face up on it and everything this is ang with his groovy 80s clothes um, just because just I don't have any pizza clothing so but um yeah I'm getting off topic now it's kind of random now but um one last thing before I go ahead and end up if any of you guys are in the Texas region, Texas area, because we're cool that way, um, I will be doing a panel for Anime Odyssey, which is its first. It's a first run con, um, taking place in San Antonio, and I will be there talking about ball jointed dolls, and I'll be giving away free prizes too. So I surely, surely, duperly hope that you can come. I got some really cool prizes this time around, I'm not going to lie. So, uh, I'm going to be probably conserving some of my prizes because I'm going to hope I might get invited to maybe one other con. If not, I guess this will be all for that con. But I really, really, really was crossing my fingers. Unfortunately, I didn't get San Japan, which is cool. But, um... There was another one I wanted to go to. Well, Anime Fest. Anime Fest is one that I wanted to go to. I didn't get to go to Mizumi Con. I was so depressed. But I'm going like through con withdrawals and I'm so jealous of everybody's con videos and I haven't been to one in forever. I would love to go to Acon, but I don't think I'd I don't think I'll make it in time. There's like way too much stuff going on. But that'd have been freaking awesome if I could do that. But yeah, for sure San Japan I'll be going to Anime Odyssey and then A Fest for sure. So 
if you happen to be dropping in on those cons, that'd be super duper cool to see you. Or if I get a panel for A Fest, that'd be super duper awesome if you could come say hello and win a prize. Because who doesn't like winning prizes? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to stop rambling. But yeah, I will be doing more videos. I've just been super duper busy. I have a website, guys! It's not done yet, but I have a website that I'll be posting and I'll do another video about. Ugh, it's been killing me. It's But it's really good. It's been helping me develop my characters because I have, like, character bios and everything. I'm super proud. Because I had to, like, do research on how to start it because I did not know how to do the technical lingo stuff for it. So, and neither did my husband because it was new to him, too. And it was all me doing it. So, that whole website, I did it. This girl did it. But, yeah, it's not ready yet. But I will go ahead and I'll let you guys know when it's done so you guys can take a peek. Anywho, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for your lovely comments and for subscribing and for being so awesome. And I heart you guys so much. You guys are the best. Thank you guys for those Tumblr posts. And thank you guys so much for, like, reaching over 3,100 subscribers. It's crazy. But, yeah. Um, yes, I shall be doing a thank you video. I think that's in order. And then my other stuff. So I'll let you guys go, because I started rambling, rambling, rambling. Check you guys out in another video later. Adios, muchachos. Bye. Open the door. Show me what you have. Come here. Uh, the reason why I do it, I make characters... You gonna bring it back to me? No? Okay, cool. So you're gonna make noises, I'm gonna kick you out. So if you hear bird noises, that's my cat. <laughs>